My name is Teresa Rich and I am the principal of Reflexology UK. And on this video, I wanted to explain what the ITEC qualification stands for. So you get a really, really good understanding of what all the different myths of qualifications there are in the complementary therapy field. So I'm here to educate you and let you know what the International Therapy Examination Council, ITEC, actually stands for within the UK and abroad. So to start off with, um, all the courses that we offer are ITEC approved. Now what that means is um, we have to have an external person come and audit the premises, all our paperwork, before we can become an accredited international school. Okay, so the premises have to be audited and each time we have external verifiers come in to check all the students' practicals and work, they also audit our work, our own teaching work that we produce. So moving on to that now, um, it's really important within ITEC, the International Therapy Examination Council, that we adhere to certain standards. Now those standards are equipped, they're very, very high standards for the level three qualification. And they normally adhere to VTCT, City and Guilds or A-levels. So they're normally equivalent to that. And the reason why that actually is, is they're um, part of OFQAL. So ITEC have to abide by regulations, the National Curriculum Framework, that is part of the Ofqual organisation, which is set down by Parliament, that we all have to adhere. So when you're looking at an ITEC qualification, what you're really looking at is you're actually looking at an Ofqual qualification, um, which would have something like this, that the qualification like VTCT, City and Guilds, A-Levels, all of these qualifications and ITEC would have to abide by the Ofqual registration, which is set down by Parliament within the UK, that they have to adhere to certain standards um, in order to be an examination body. And then once you've got that examination body, that's what ITEC actually is, um, it must be a complete, it's so confusing, isn't it? And I completely understand where you're coming from because when you look on the internet, there is so much out there, especially if you want to be a reflexologist, a massage therapist, anything in sports or the complementary field or Indian head massage. It is a maze. You've got the online, you've got the two day workshops and they're all saying that you can come become completely um, qualified. And the truth is, according to them, you actually can. But even though they may stipulate after two days you're a level three qualification, you're not a level three qualification that is accredited through something called Ofqual that lays down by Parliament the actual registration for examining bodies that have to abide by this. So even though many of these schools may say they're online and you know you can become a qualified practitioner or you do a two-dayer, they are not to the standard of what Ofqual expects these examining bodies to be. So remember A-levels, City and Guilds, um, ITEC, VTCT, we all have to adhere to the Ofqual qualification in order to um, be able to teach people to those standards. And what that actually means is it means you have to attend face to face in the classroom at least more than five times. In other words, five classroom activities at least. Okay, so having this qualification, the ITEC qualification, what that will mean is either ITEC or VTCT, this qualification will normally bear a QA number, QAN number, which provides assurance and validity and authenticity 
and that it is on the Q RQF regulated qualifications framework. So that means it's completely regulated by Parliament. The UK's regulatory framework articula articulates with the EQF which is the European Qualification Framework. So this qualification is not just only um, in the UK, it's also in over 38 other countries. So it's in Africa, it's in the Americas, it's in Asia, it's practically global. Okay, and they have to register with EQF, which is the European Qualification Framework, to get recognition um, in order to be able to offer this. ITEC qualification abroad and also for employers to accept this qualification, this level three qualification of ITEC that is registered by Ofqual, okay, and then that allows employers, governments and professional associations to take you on with this qualification. So I hope I've sort of like made it a bit more clear what the ITEC qualification is. Um, VTCT is also joined with ITEC. VTCT vocational, I can't remember what it stands for, but VTCT um, is another body that actually deals with complementary therapies and sports therapies. And it was only just about two years ago that ITEC got taken over by VTCT. So they both joined together and like I said they're global. So um, if you want something that is authentic, that is real and is covered by the Ofqual qualifications, ITEC definitely is. And it's on par with A-level, City and Guilds and VTCT. So when we move on that then means that when you've got this qualification, this level three ITEC qualification, you will then be able to join many different um, membership bodies, okay, that are things like the Federation of Holistic Therapies, which are long-standing membership bodies that also have to adhere to certain standards. So they're not made up qualification bodies. They are certain standard regulatory um, bodies that have to adhere and they have professional standards and there is a professional standards authority which is an accredited register so all therapists can join this professional standards authority accredited register okay and become members and that's what you're looking at when you join ITEC. CTHA is also another body that takes on people with these ITEC qualifications. Again, remember they are a professional standards authority that um, has to adhere to parliamentary um, legislation and standardisation of the national curriculum framework. So when we move on to that, why have I chosen to be part of an amazing um, qualification? Well, it all started in um, I'd say about 25 years ago when I was 24, 25 and I started teaching for many of the different colleges and I was teaching ITEC, the International Therapy Examination Council and I taught at, um, at the colleges for about 25 years and then I left and I, get, I then got my, um, my premises, okay, my school, my academy actually audited by ITEC and approved. So that gave me the, the stamp to actually then provide ITEC qualifications to an incredibly high standard. So anyone that's been trained by Reflexology UK, you can be sure that they have been trained to one of the best standards possible within the complementary therapy field. Okay, I have also won many awards uh, one in 2012 and the other one in 2016 um, for being a finalist in the Tutor of the Year Awards, which I was privileged to get. And um, that reaffirmed to me that the ITEC examining body that I am part of, that uh, what I'm doing is actually correct. I really enjoy the standard that these this body actually adheres to. I like the fact that it's part of the Ofqual 
um, legislation set down by Parliament. And I'm really grateful that the examiners travel the globe, believe it or not, and they always have external verifiers come and mark and watch all the students during their practicals to make sure they are staying at the correct standard set down by ITEC, which is part of um, the national curriculum framework set down by Ofqual. And I felt that that was really important, that it was really, really important that standards didn't change and didn't drop. And in a society where everyone wants quick fixes, wants qualifications quickly, wants to be the best at something within a day, I thought, no, what I wanted to do was make sure this industry where I teach reflexology, massage, Indian head, okay, and many continual professional development training was kept to a certain level and a certain standard. So I can rest assured that all my students that go out into the world to treat the clients, the general public like you, yourself, are doing their job to a certain standard and keeping the reputation going of what it needs to be. So I hope that's um, explained to you why I chose to stay with iTech. Remember, my name is Theresa Rich, and if you have any questions and still don't understand um, about the iTech regulations, um, and where iTech fits into Ofqual and where it, it is in comparison to um, the two-day workshops in reflexology or massage you may see out there, or the online um, quick qualification courses. If you're still not too sure, then you can click the link below, which will take you straight to the iTech website, or feel free to get in contact with me so we can have a deeper discussion and get to know each other a little bit more. My name is Teresa Rich from Reflexology UK.